Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th, Monday through Thursday. Now, I am going to be using my Radley Valentine deck. I will for the main reading. This is just the introduction. This is my Archangel Power Tarot cards, and I will pull one from my Guardian Angel cards, and I will finish up by pulling one with my um, Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, for this overview, the introduction, and I will put in the timestamp so you can jump this, uh, jump over this introduction. Um, but I hope you watch it at least once because uh, I do an overview of what's going on in the universal energies. I will use my Weight Rider tarot, original tarot cards, and then I will pull one from the good tarot, Colette Barron Reed. Okay, now let's see what we've got going on. Now, um, this week we have Saturn is still in Aquarius. It will be for a good, you know, a good, I think it's um, 10 more months. Um, we do have Jupiter that is in Pisces right now. Pluto, of course, Capricorn. We have Mercury that is in Aries right now also. So Venus, which has been in Aquarius, is transitioning on the 5th to Pisces. Now, Venus has had a rough couple of weeks lately. And so, uh, you know, there was a lot of rough energy all around her. So now she's taking a vacation. She's taking a spa day or a spa week. So this is this is actually going to help to rejuvenate her energy, and it will help to um, calm that part of us. You know, the relationship, the romantic side, the uh, emotional side, help to calm that part down a little bit more. So, however, we have Mars in Aquarius, and uh, it will actually be. Let's see, it will be conjunct, so like I said, Pi uh, Venus goes into Pisces on April 5th. Mars will be conjunct with Saturn, also in Aquarius. So we have that, that Aquarius energy with some very intense, intense um, planets, okay? Because Mars is very intense, Saturn is very intense. Mars wants, Mars with Aries sees very clear directions on what he wants. Mars is a very, you know, um, masculine energy. Saturn, also masculine energy, um, wants what he wants also. However, he's willing to wait for it. He's willing to, um, he's willing to wait for that right time. So that Mars is pushing forward a little bit and Saturn is kind of trying to hold Mars back. So there's going to be some friction there. There's going to be some problems with that. So, um, you know, so just, you know, expect, I would actually say if that was happening, what did I say on the 5th? I would say that that's going to be from the 4th until at least the 8th, that there's going to be some emotional times. Um, try to click in, try to hook into the Venus energy because she's going to be chilling a little bit. And, um, you know, just try to, try to, you know, connect with that. Okay. So overview energy. Here we go. I should put my glasses on because it does help me to see. We have, these two are reversed. We, these two are sword energy. Sword energy is our Aquarius energy, our Gemini and our Libra. Thought processes, making some plans, hearing some news. So now we have the Ace of Swords. So that's a one. So we have that one, new beginning, new start. Ace of Swords has some, has some information that we might not necessarily agree with. We might not necessarily understand. Um, you know, there's a challenge with the information that's coming through. There's, you know, and again, remember, the swords is making plans, but it's also hearing news. So there could be some, um, you know, there could be some challenging information that's going to be happening that we're going to be hearing soon during these, this period of time. Now, the interesting part is we have, again, the four of rods or wands, which is our Aries, which we're in, Leo, Sagittarius, and that's our fire signs, our passionate, burning, determined, committed energies. And the four is actually very much leadership. Um, it has some, it has stability. It also has organization. So whatever the news is, th this is about celebration. This is about celebration. So it's interesting. Are we going to be celebrating this challenging news? Is this going to be a release or relief to us? Now, you know, so there's something going on between this two, because this is, again, a celebration. Um, a lot of times this has to do with weddings, births, 
um, something that just brings a lot of joy to people. Now we come to this one reversed. Reverse cards to me has a little stronger energy. And now we have our sneaky snake. Many of you know about the sneaky snake. He's been showing up many times over during the last, you know, what is it, the last couple, well, for a while he's been doing this. So we have five. Five's about change, um, positive or negative. And this one, again, this one's sneaky snake. The only thing about sneaky snake is He's not necessarily doing anything, but he's planning. There's planning here, okay? So he's, you know, he's kind of, he's got the three, he's not really taken the three swords away. He's not really moved, but you know that he's not, he's not necessarily planning something good for these other two or, or if there's more, okay? But he is planning. So there's Sneaky Snake with some planning there. I think I need to pull two more cards for this so maybe we can clarify a little bit more because this this is you know of course we but we've been in an interesting times the um you know the proverb may you live in interesting times it's a uh, an old Chinese proverb I believe so here we go yeah let's go ahead and do this okay okay one and two, so we've had the swords, we've had the fire energy, air energy and fire energy. Let's see what we have here. Oh, we have cup energy. Now we have a two. Twos are coming together. Twos are some de decisions. But the cup energy is very much a romantic energy, is a partnering energy, is a loving energy. It is, if it's an emotional energy too. It is our Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It is fluid energy. It is, there's a spirituality here too. So whatever this is, there is a coming together. Because remember, we're doing this for the world. We're doing this for the overview. So there is coming together. There is a joining together energy here. Next card is the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups, again, Page is underlying energy because all the court cards have an underlying energy. Page is about work, is earth energy, it is pentacle energy, it is, um, you know, Capricorn, it is Taurus, and, and remember, there's some things going on, Mercury's going to be going into Taurus soon, so there could be some very frank speak, speech at that time, it could be very down to earth, tr you know, truth, truth telling truth type of energy there. The, um, the page of cups, so that we have that earth energy, work, job, career, and again, we have cups, again, that water energy, and this is quizzical. This is kind of like, so what's, na what, what's next? What do we do with this? So whatever this is coming around, we might like the news, but what really does it mean? What does it matter? What do we do with this news? What, do, what are we supposed to do? So this is, I kind of get, even though this is a good partnering, I get this quizzical like, so what? What does this mean? What does this mean to me? What does this mean to me in the long run, in the short run? Does this pay? Does this, um, you know, help put gas in my in my tank? Does this put food on my table? Does this put a roof over my head? So this is kind of a so kind of like and what happens next type of energy. Let's go one more card, and here we go. The seven of pentacles, that pentacle energy again, that earth energy, and this ha seven is a divine umbrella, divine intervention, divine interference sometimes, and this is saying. Just wait it out, you are prepared, or the world, you know, there is a preparation that's been going on for whatever this is. So we go from the, from the, um, you know, challenging information, many, many people, or many, you know, many people will rejoice, you, we still have to watch out for Sneaky Snake, there is people coming together, so what do we do with the information, how, you know, how do we go forward, and then the Seven of Pentacles says, we're ready, we're ready, you prepared, we've been, we're, we are prepared. Okay, so this looks interesting energy for this weekend. Let's go on and with the Good Tarot Colette Baron read. Okay. And remember too, we are prepared. We are light workers. We are, you know, so this could be we're prepared. So does are we to be activated? I, you know, many of us have been fine feeling as if we are being activated. Okay, here we go. Justice, the justice card. We have that one one energy, new beginnings, new beginnings. Ten transition, one zero zero is God source energy. One again, so we have one one justice. Well, you know what? This is a higher arc, higher. Um, this is a major arcana. The so justice. We'll leave it at that. Okay, interesting. 
Very interesting, I think. Okay. Ah, so, interesting um, beginning, interesting introduction. I hope you, uh, you do watch this at least once. In the meantime, too, why don't you, before I start the main readings, why don't you like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. I have been, you know, every time my computer upgrades or updates or does whatever it says, you know, where you have to do the restart, my sound goes a little bit uh, wonky. So I hope I've adjusted the sound. Um, again, too, I don't know why some people can hear the videos and why some people can't. That's, that's, that's nothing to do with my sound on this, but I, hopefully I'm in stereo again. Anyway, why don't we start our readings now 